Uh, I'm a little bit tired, I've been working. And also my mother was giving me directions and helping me bake her cupcakes and trying to do everything I could to, you know, do her cupcakes. And I failed. They're trash. Super trash. Scramble. I like them scrambled. Although I will eat them sunny side up. But when I do, I low key always feel guilty like I'm eating a baby bird. It's my secret I'm giving to you. Vulnerability. I mean, share is kind of a deep word. I mean, think about it. Cupcakes have sugar and calories and things of that nature. Why would I want to do that to you? As a great friend that I am, I want to shield you from all of that. So I'm just going to take all the blame. And the cupcakes. I have two types of favorite food. One is homemade spaghetti. Many of you know I make my spaghetti from scratch. I love it. I love eating other people's spaghetti from scratch. My second type of favorite food is the one where you pay. Delicious. There's only one place where you can find a talking bird, a monster that likes to be tickled, and a purple elephant on the same block. New Jersey. Sesame Street's in New Jersey. That's a difficult one because as a child, Michael Jackson was a superhero. I definitely wanted to be him with the jacket and the shoes and everything. But when I got older, I wanted to hang with Prince because to me, he had the real Netherland because he was never without women. Ever. I, I admit that's a that's a little challenging one. So this one going to take a little time. So you got to bear with me on this one. OK, so let's, let me let me start by saying this. But what I've learned to do is kind of have things stored so that I know that they give me that, that quick inspiration. So number one, for example, I have saved numerous, multiple interviews of James Baldwin. It does for me it give me a little inspiration because when you watch James Baldwin interviews, if you think our times are hard, this man was speaking the way he was speaking and our audience filled with like white faces on a lot of white TV. Um, a second thing that people might not agree with, but I like sometimes watching things that might piss me off. I be, I'm someone who believes in embracing all of my emotions, like all of them, the good, the bad, everything. For example, if our president says something or a supporter of his says something or I see something on TV that gets me angry, gets me upset, that emotion charges me to put pen to pad and it reminds me of my voice. It reminds me when I'm out here, what I'm trying to do. I also have to say my friends on my close circle, even if they go on vacation or they put up a project because I know the story behind it and how hard they work to get there. It makes me want to call them up and I instantly say, yo, how can I help you? Because I'm inspired by their work. I say my mom gives me inspiration. It came front. My old bird doesn't do a lot of talking I and mean, she's not the most like she's not going to be like motherly and oh, my baby boy. She's not that type of person, but she'll drop a bar that just be like, Phew. Lastly, I have to say my number one, my niece, because I see the way she's taking in information, whether it's from me, her mother and other loved ones. She's in her first year of school. She busting her tail. And I want to always be prepared to guide her and whenever she may need inspiration for real. Not only do I still put it on everything, but I still mispronounce it. Been calling it wishes and sauce since 89. <laughs> you, you, you. I can't even lie. When I used to hear people try to avoid that question, oh, I just want a healthy baby. I used to think they was lying, but I really do just want a healthy niece or nephew. And I know that I'm going to be in their life all the time. So be prepared, little homie sister. Better made chips, barbecue. C come on, man. It's not even a question. It's red hot. There's a reason why cocaine outlasted crack when it comes to popularity. That shit slaps. I mean, the chips do. The cocaine. So I've been told. 